All right, I think we'll get started. So welcome everybody. Great to have you here at eBay's Seller Growth Webinar. Uh, my name's Jeremy Naiman and I look after our seller experience team here at eBay. Uh, today with me, I have Patrick Kenny as well. Now, Pat has been with the business for over four years and will be helping me talk through some of the promotional features we have across eBay, uh, including promoted listings. So Pat heads up our promoted listings product, uh, very knowledgeable in that space, along with a lot of our other promotional tools. So a really great chance for you to hear from him uh, and also ask a whole heap of questions as well. Some of you may have joined our new seller webinar two weeks ago. So for those people, welcome back. It's great to have you back. And for those people that are joining us for the first time, it's, it's great to have you as well and to take the time out of the day to join us today. Uh, throughout the webinar, we do have a Q&A uh, function. So feel free to ask any questions throughout the, the webinar itself. Uh, Pat and myself, luckily enough, aren't on our own. We do have Rachel and Sanjana from Seller Marketing and Seller Experience on standby who will be monitoring the questions coming through and answering them as we go along. Uh, and then at the end, uh, Pat and I should have some time to be able to talk through uh, some questions live on the webinar itself. So moving through to the agenda today, so I'll kick off by sharing some market sentiment statistics, uh, which look, to be honest, is, you know, we're in a really interesting time at the moment, obviously, with the challenges that we've had with COVID-19. So I think it's timely to share some of those data points. Uh, and then we'll flow through to uh, the seller hub and how you can leverage that to grow your business. We'll talk about the promotional tools and, and, and how we'll spend a bit of time on those along with promoted listings. And then we'll uh, flow through to eBay postage labels, eBay plus, uh, best practice in, in customer service as well, and how you can really supercharge your business on eBay. So eBay's purpose, and I think this resonates really well at this particular time, is that we enable economic opportunity for all Australian businesses, whether you're a small home business or a, or a large multinational retailer. You know, and I think what really gets me up in the morning in particular is being able to work with, with sellers of all different sizes and particularly those that, you know, we've seen start a business as a hobby potentially as an entrepreneur and then have grown into something, you know, really substantial and, and actually supporting their, their lifestyle. If we have a look at the, you know, how eBay uh, stacks up for Australian sellers, uh, we, we look at some research here by Euromonitor and this looked at, uh, businesses or, or, or people that were running online businesses through marketplaces and the sentiment's quite positive in terms of they agree that the economic conditions are really favourable to be able to run their business online uh, and regulatory conditions are also really favourable. Now the, these data points are actually from 2019 so there's no doubt that these percentages have probably increased over recent months, particularly you know, with the COVID-19 challenges and more and more people moving to online and, and, uh, and marketplaces. 73% of people in the survey said that they agree that the income from an online business gives them financial security and that marketplaces have the tools they need to be successful. And, and hopefully Pat and I can go through and share some of those tools that eBay have to, to ensure you succeed on eBay. This is huge, 95% of people say that uh, selling through marketplaces give them freedom and flexibility and really give them the confidence and control of their life. So those lifestyle uh, factors, and, and this is what I sort of touched on, which you know, this is what really gets us up in the morning, being able to support businesses like yourselves to really succeed and thrive on the platform. So moving on from market sentiment, uh, I'll touch a little bit on the seller hub. Now the seller hub is really the heart of your business on eBay. It's a personal snapshot of how you're going uh, across the platform and covers a whole range of different things such as your selling activity, insights, recommendations, Terapeak research and more. The best thing about the seller hub is that there's 15 different modules which are all customizable. So you can actually jump in here, pick the modules that you wanna see as part of your, your sort of daily routine in the seller hub uh, and it you know, will automatically so save those settings for you. Now, if we drill down a little bit further into some of the key modules within the Seller Hub, 
first and foremost, and probably one of the most important is the orders module. So this is where you can see all of your selling activity on one screen and really drill down into viewing orders across sort of specific time periods or filters and, and filters such as those that are waiting postage, ones that you've paid and, uh, and already shipped and sent. You can also look at cancellations, returns, uh, and other sort of returns cases within the orders section here. Now, if you want to make edits and changes to the orders, you can do that singly or in bulk by selecting the checkbox next to the particular listing or order that's come through. Um, and then there's an edit and action uh, drop down where you can select the, the actions to take on those particular orders. Moving through to the listings module. Now this obviously allows you to uh, input your product data into a, a streamlined listing form where we make it really, really easy by pre-populating a lot of different components of the, the listing itself based on the inputs that you put in. From here, you can also directly add photos. If you've got multivariate products, you can add the variations directly from here as well. Uh, edit multiple listings at one time and set up to 5,000 drafts or scheduled listings. Uh, but just bear in mind that if you do do that, that those drafts or scheduled listings uh, will be removed within 30 days if they're not set live. The marketing and performance tab uh, provides a whole range of insights for you to really accelerate your growth. Uh, we'll touch on some of the marketing components uh, a little bit later, but essentially it allows you to run promotions uh, through this uh, promoted listings, for example, but also give you performance stats about your listings. So looking at traffic uh, and those service metrics related to your particular store. So it's a really good way to see how your listings are performing and also how you're performing as a seller overall on the platform. We've got also a research tab, which is powered by Terapeak. Um, and now for those store subscribers with, with us, uh, this particular tab and this, and this research actually comes free of charge as part of your store subscription. For those people that may not have a store subscription, you can still get access to this data and information. Uh, and that's a, it's a $12 a month over a 12 month uh, contract or, or $19 a month if you just want to buy month by month, but it'll give you access to a whole bunch of research, which we have collated from all of the global eBay marketplaces uh, and covers things such as listing improvements and recommendations to improve your listings, sourcing guidance and restocking advice. And I'll drill down into a little bit more detail into each of these now. So from a product research perspective, the Terapeak data allows you to analyze trends uh, in prices and sales volumes and look at that buying behavior to see how you can really optimize your, your products and listings. It allows you to then plan your inventory and pricing structure based on what you're seeing come through uh, from all the, the various uh, regions that eBay operates in, of course, Australia as well. Uh, and helps you identify sourcing opportunities. And, and we get this a lot from, you know, from sellers that we work with saying, how do I identify what products I should sell on the platform? And I'll touch on that in a little bit more detail in a, in a, in a moment. And of course, look at top performing listings. And this just helps you look at, well, what, what more do I need to do on my other listings to ensure they become top performing listings as well? Also listing improvements. So it helps you identify underperforming listings and what to do to help improve that, the performance of those listings. You can look at uh, listing level traffic and the number of buyers that are coming to those particular listings. We, we really sort of hone in on competitor insights as well. So what are your competitors doing in their listings and how can we gain learnings to improve your listings as well? Also an important piece is identifying invalid or missing product identifiers. So we often refer to this as item specifics. So that's really ensuring that you've got all the unique product codes, uh, you know, UPCs, brands, type, everything uh, within your listings to ensure that from a buyer experience, your products are featuring in search. So that's a really important one. And, and obviously you get those uh, insights through the research tab uh, within Seller Hub. And of course, looking at current sales trends and rates for your products, uh, we also give you restock advice to, to let you know when you should uh, restock those products. 
The really interesting thing uh, for me is the sourcing guidance. And as I mentioned, we do often get questions from sellers saying, hey, how do I, how do I find opportunities to, to sell more and to sell different products on eBay? And so the sourcing guidance section within the research tab um, obviously allows you to optimize your current inventory, but we also provide a growth opportunity score against that to show you what the opportunity is there to sell more of that product uh, or to sell more uh, or to sell different products in say the same category, for example. Um, but it also allows you, if you're looking to sell a certain product on eBay, to put that product within uh, this uh, sourcing guidance and then we'll give you a growth opportunity score just to sort of give you an idea of how popular that product is and the likelihood of that selling. So a really great opportunity to sort of really hone in and optimize on your current inventory, but also look at ways that you can uh, sell more, sell different products uh, within the same category or other categories as well. So that's the seller hub. Uh, and look, a lot of opportunity there for growth. Uh, you know, as I said, particularly the sourcing guidance is, is really interesting. But what we want to move into now is the promotional tools that you've got access to uh, to help really accelerate your business. And if I kick off with the first one, uh, it's sending offers to buyers. So this is a really, really great opportunity uh, for you to be able to look at those buyers that are either watching your products or adding the item to their cart and sending them special offers to help increase that conversion rate and really get that sale through the door. And it's really as simple as going to Seller Hub, selecting the send offer beside the eligible item uh, that's in Seller Hub. Select an offer price, so you're in complete control as to what offer and what price you, you send for those prospective buyers. And then select send, to the, send offer to the buyers. Really, really easy and a really great way to increase conversion. Now, so that's for people that are either watching or adding the item to the cart. Later this year, uh, we will be rolling out additional functionality that will, will actually show uh, the products that are getting, or well, basically buyers that are looking at your product multiple times. So they may not have added it to their cart or are watching that particular item, but based on the number of times that they're coming and viewing that particular listing and that product, you'll be able to send an offer to those uh, prospective buyers as well. It's a really great way to increase conversion um, across your store. All right, so moving into Promotions Manager, I'm gonna hand it over to Pat now, who's gonna take you through all the different uh, promotions tools through Promotions Manager that we've got access to. And obviously, being the expert on promoted listings, Pat's gonna take you through that as, as well. So uh, over to you, Pat. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Um, yeah, I think Office to Buyers is a really, really interesting tool. It's really powerful. Um, and it's, as you say, it's something that you can use to really uh, drive traction with those buyers that have already expressed some uh, level of interest with your inventory. I think Promotions Manager is interesting because it's probably the tool you would use for everyone else. Um, it's similar in that you're offering discounts to buyers, um, but there's actually a whole host of different ways that you can do that within the tool. So you can see here the four different types of promotions that you can create. Uh, within Promotions Manager. Um, I'll just quickly go through these and we can look at examples in a second. But uh, the first is order discount. That's kind of says what it does on the tin. Um, you're looking at discounting orders at, at that order level uh, rather than items individually. Uh, so things like uh, buy one, get one 20% off, buy two, get one free, 30% uh, off everything. It, it's probably the most flexible for the bunch. Codeless voucher is interesting. It's It's actually pretty much the same thing as an order discount, but what you're doing there is targeting um, specific buyers with, with that. So when you create a campaign, you, you get a special URL and only buyers that have access to that URL are able to, uh, to, to use that discount. Volume pricing is, is a newer tool uh, in the scope of things, and it's really uh, about increasing um, the, the value that buyers get with the, the more volume that they purchase. So buy two, get 5% off, buy three, get 10% off, things like that. And then sale event plus markdown, I'd say would be our most traditional tool. Um, you've got your, your retail price and then the saving, and then you've got your uh, discounted price. And I think um, this is, is different really to an order discount in that it appears at the item level, whereas an order discount is more about um, 
taking that strategy up a level and, and trying to use that at the, at the order stage. So I'll just go through, yeah. So in terms of creating promotions, I think uh, Jeremy did touch on the seller hub and the marketing tab just before, but um, basically once you're in the marketing tab, this is what it'll look like. Um, and you've got promotions there under merchandising on the left, and you'll have a blue bar in the top right um, where you can create a campaign. When you create a campaign, you'll be met with the four different options we just talked through, but uh, let's start with order discounts and, and codeless vouchers, and we'll talk about them together. They do have separate flows, but they, they do kind of work in the same way. So for an order discount, um, I said it's the most flexible of the tools, and I think that's, that is really true. Uh, there's kind of four stages to setting up a campaign, and the first is to define an objective. And you don't have to do this, but uh, basically what you do if you do, so, so for this example, I've said, uh, I'm a fashion, I'm selling fashion items, and my objective is to attract buyers at a peak shopping time. Uh, and you can see there that we've re recommended a few different types of promotion. Um, there's, there's many more that you can go with, uh, but we think that these are probably the best for that kind of objective. So from that, you, you pick one of those options and you, you set the offer details, or you, know, you can just sort of ignore that objective defining and, and go through directly and, and pick something, it's up to you. Um, and from that, the, the next step would be to, to add items. So we've got quite a, a customizable view there. You can use the search bar to, to find inventory. You can use categories to do that as well. Um, there, there's any number of ways to define your inventory. Uh, and once you've done that, you then go into the review and launch page where you're defining dates and uh, going ahead and, and launching or, or saving it as a draft um, if you want to fiddle with it a bit later. So volume pricing, uh, you can see here the, what this looks like to buyers. So when they get to your listing page, you've got this bulk savings module there and you can see buy one is X price, buy two is a little bit cheaper and, and so on. Um, and when, when they click those different pills there, you can see that the unit price down the bottom uh, aligns with which, whichever they've selected. So uh, they also get a, a message above the, the title there uh, that will kind of call out that there's bulk savings for, for purchasing more. And there's a potential for that to appear in the search results as well. So once they, they select the, the volume, they go buy it now and it automatically adds that multiple to the cart. Uh, so we really think this is probably the best way to, to really increase order size um, between all the different tools. So the final um, tool I'm going to talk about in, in the, the suite of tools there is Sale Event Plus Markdown. So I mentioned before that it's more traditional in the sort of list price, you save, and then now price. You can see that there. Um, it is, uh, as I say, about um, targeting specific items. So if your objective is to increase order size, um, this is probably not the, the one, but if you're trying to sort of push someone across the line, uh, this is really a good way of illustrating what kind of discount you're offering. And we find that buyers have a good uh, amount of trust in that because there are some criteria that you need to meet in order to discount those products. Uh, you can't have an item fluctuating in price seven days before it goes live. Um, you can only have it running for 45 days. Uh, there's, there's a few different criteria you need to be careful of there, but that's because it, it does show that, that strike through. So, between all of those tools, hopefully you're able to, to sort of find a way that uh, allows you to discount your inventory in a way that's productive and uh, aligns with whatever your, your marketing strategy is. Oop, there we go. So uh, if that's sort of a way of driving velocity and, and other things uh, via discounting, I'd say that promoter listings is, is the way of driving velocity um, through advertising. Um, so basically what happens when you, you use promoter listings and you create a campaign is you're generating ads for your listings in search results and across different pages on the site. So you can see in those screenshots there, I think the top one is a, uh, like a carousel placement that we've got underneath the, the body of the listing uh, on the listing page. And then uh, below that, I've got an example of the same uh, products appearing in the search results. So uh, there's kind of four benefits, I'd say, to promoter listings. The first is, is better visibility. So when, uh, for example, in search results, if your item is in a promoter listings campaign, every time the buyer searches for something and we determine that your item is relevant for that search, we'll make a decision on whether to show 
your ad or your uh, organic listing, let's call it. So um, the reason we do that is because the, the promoter listings placements have a, a lot more uh, visibility. Typically, it'll be a lot higher up in the search. Um, and for and say with this carousel placement on the right, you just wouldn't be able to appear there unless your item was in a promoter listings campaign. So we do really see that uh, it drives a lot more visibility across the site. Second is that uh, it's really risk-free. You only pay when you sell. So the pricing model is uh, you are willing to pay a percentage of the sale price of the product in the event that a buyer sees the ad, clicks the ad, and then follows through with the purchase. So it's not, uh, there's a lot of other tools in market with different um, companies where it might be cost per click or, or cost per impression. Not the case with promoted listings. It's, it's only, you only pay when you sell with it and you have success. Uh, the third is, is guidance. So I think that that's something that's really important with a tool like this. Um, you know, I, I mentioned that you need to dictate to us a percentage of the sale price of the product. Um, so that might be a bit complicated for you if you're not used to that, but we have a trended ad rate, which would uh, give you some guidance on what to put there. Uh, and the fourth is detailed reporting. So when you, once you've created a campaign, you obviously want to be able to report on that performance. And that's something that you're able to do um, through the Promoted Listings dashboard. So setting up Promoted Listings, there's actually uh, multiple different ways to set up Promoted Listings and you can get access to it through a whole bunch of different entry points. But I think the, the core one is, is through the Campaign Manager uh, interface and that's what I'm going to take you through just now and then we'll briefly touch on the other ways. So uh, the first way is uh, through the, the campaign manager. So, so just like I just uh, mentioned with uh, order discounts and other promotions manager tools, you can access it through the marketing tab. So if you go there, uh, you click promoted listings from the drop down, or it's also there on the left-hand navigation. Um, you'll land on the promoted listings dashboard. If you've never been there before, it'll give you a, a quick tour. And I'd advise actually everyone to, to take a look at that, even if you have used the tool before, because um, we've just launched a new dashboard that has um, a bunch of new, new metrics and graphs in it. So um, that will sort of give you a good overview of what's changed. So once you, uh, if you, if you want to create uh, listings in the way I'm, I'm going to mention, you need to click the blue create a campaign button in the top right. And you'll be met with this decision. Do you want to select listings individually or do you want to select them in bulk? And uh, what I recommend if you're starting off is select listings individually on the left. So once you click that, uh, you'll be met with this flow. And it's quite similar, I guess, to, to the Promotions Manager um, flow in that you kind of set your listings, set an ad rate, and then review and launch. So when you're selecting listings, uh, you can see here there's a whole bunch of different ways to, to select categories, uh, to use a search function, to use price, uh, quantity, uh, all those kinds of things. You can see that we filtered only those that are eligible for promotion. So anything that you're already promoting won't be. Um, and what you can't see there that's been cut off is a uh, recommended button. So if you're unsure about what you actually think you need to be promoting, uh, we can give you some help with that. We've got an algorithm that determines what we think is going to perform really well if promoted. Uh, and ticking that box would be a good way of, of narrowing that down for you. So the second thing is obviously to, to set the ad rate. Uh, and you can see here, uh, there's a couple of options there at the top. So on the left, uh, there's a switch there, apply a single ad rate to all the listings in this campaign. So that's, say you just wanted to say, uh, I'll do 7% uh, promoted listings across everything in this campaign. Uh, that's one way of doing it. Uh, the trending ad rate uh, option is on the right there. So you could tick that and say, I'll just apply whatever the, the trending ad rate is across the board. Um, I think we'd encourage you to kind of look at the, the training ad rate more than we would just a blanket ad rate. Um, even if it ends up being the same ad rate on average, uh, let's say you, you, uh, you create a campaign where you've applied 7% across the board. In some categories, maybe it's, it's trending at 5% and, and for some products, maybe it's trending at 9%. Um, and if you were to sort of allocate that spend with a little bit more um, with a little bit more information, then you'd probably see better results. Uh, so, so we'd recommend going with the trending ad rates. And uh, if you go through that, you can sort of see there that you, you can still fiddle with each of those individually. So if there's certain items you don't have the margin on to, to go with the trending ad rate, you can, um, you can individually 
and if you like those as you see fit. So the last thing to do there is to uh, review and launch. So we think of promoted listings as like an ongoing marketing strategy. Uh, so it's different in uh, to say an order discount where you have to set a start and end date. Here uh, we kind of default to continuous. Uh, you can still set an end date if you like. Um, it, you know, say if you want to only run something for a quarter and then evaluate after that, you can do something like that. You can also obviously, if, it, if it's running continuously, you can just end the campaign uh, from the dashboard if you wanted to. So that's the, the standard flow and probably best practice if you're starting off, but there are some other options. Uh, say if instead of selecting listings individually there, we said uh, select listings in bulk. This is the, the flow that you'd be met with. So uh, there's a few different options there. You can use the, the, your store categories, you can use eBay categories to filter, uh, you can just include all the recommended listings, um, or you can select listings using a CSV file. CSVs are probably a bit more complicated in that you have to leave the site and create a CSV, re-upload it. But for some sellers, uh, if that's the way you, that you interact with eBay, maybe you use file exchange at the moment, uh, that maybe that makes sense in, in that kind of instance. And then the last way uh, I'm going to mention is through the active listings tab that Jeremy touched on a bit earlier. Uh, so this is, I think, let's say you're, you're looking through your active listings, uh, you may be making some edits to, to the price, to the, to the titles, and uh, you decide, hey, I should really be promoting this item. Rather than take you out of that, make you go into the marketing tab, set up a campaign, find the item, you can actually just do it straight from the active listings page. So you can do this in, in bulk now here as well, uh, or just one item at a time, uh, but it, it's really up to you. You get a similar experience in that you can see the training ad rates, um, but there's just a little bit less um, flexibility there in that you don't get put into the uh, broader interface that you would through the marketing tab. So as I mentioned, uh, we, we've just launched our new uh, promoter listings uh, performance dashboard. So uh, that comes with a whole suite of uh, industry standard metrics. You've got impressions, clicks, uh, sold items, uh, your standard funnel day, standard sales funnel. You've got sales and ad fees, so you can see how they play against each other. And you've got click-through rate, average sold rate. I think average sold rate is really interesting. Uh, if you're using the, the trending ad rate across the board, for example, um, this is a good way of seeing what's effectively my ad rate across the board uh, for a given campaign or, or summed up as well. You can see that graph there as well it is showing, uh, I think that's set to sales, so it's showing you sales against ad fees. Uh, you can also do that for impressions and clicks. Uh, and if you did that for impressions, for example, you'd see your organic impressions versus your promoted listings impressions for the same items that are in the promoted listings campaign. And that can be a really good way of illustrating uh, the incrementality that promoted listings is showing you. So I, I thought I'd finish off with a uh, success story. Um, so Clean and Pure is a, is a company that was set up uh, by Mark and Melanie, um, eBay sellers about 10 years ago. And uh, they, they set up this um, skincare brand on the site and they've seen you know, crazy success since then, uh, for, especially for someone with their own brand. It, it's been really a great experience for them. I think they've had uh, over a million dollars in sales now and uh, selling in eight plus countries. And you can read more about this story on the uh, seller center. But what, uh, and they, they kind of, on that, in that uh, story, they really go into some uh, fantastic insights about their strategy with online and, and particularly with eBay. But one thing that stood out to me in particular was the promoted listing strategy. So what they were doing is, is anytime they upload new inventory, they'd be thinking about putting that into promoted listings and using um, that tool to, to really get them some visibility at the top of the search to really see if an item was uh, worth the investment and worth sticking with in the long run. I think when they looked at other channels and their ability to do that there, it was less risk-free. They'd have to pony up some money to, to advertise those items. And the difference with eBay was that if the item wasn't successful, there wasn't really a, a fee for them to pay for, for using promoted listings, even if it was coming up towards the top of the search. So uh, it really is, I think, I, I totally agree with that. I think that the, the cost per sale model of promoted listings is pretty unique in market. 
And uh, for that reason, I think it's really easy. You, you know, you, you're never sort of surprised by what kind of spend that you've got. Uh, you, you set everything up, you set your ad rates and, and everything at the beginning of the campaign. And for that reason, it's a bit easy to, to justify the cost versus maybe a uh, model based on, on clicks or impressions. So with that, uh, I'm going to hand back to, to Jeremy. Uh, he's going to talk about customer experience, I believe, and how that can be another useful lever in driving velocity to, to your eBay store. Great. Thanks, Pat. And I think uh, it's fantastic to go through the detail of the promotional tools that we've got access to and the clean and pure example that seller stories is, is really fantastic. And I'd encourage everyone out there to jump onto the seller center and have a look at some of the other seller stories that we've got. Uh, Cause a lot of great insights uh, off the back of some of our other sellers and the experience that they've had. So moving into providing exceptional customer experiences, uh, first and foremost, I wanted to share with you, I guess what's important to buyers uh, and what this graph demonstrates is basically the, the different areas of online shopping and e-commerce that are important to buyers when they're looking to make a purchase. And I've highlighted there uh, four items, uh, pretty much all, all consistent with shipping and, and, and fast returns and fast shipping. Uh, and so what this really highlights to us as a business is that buyers are really looking for uh, items that they can get shipped for free. Uh, reliable delivery and being able to track those items, easy returns and, and obviously fast shipping as well. So if we move on, what does it actually mean for eBay and, and also for yourselves as businesses on eBay? So what we've got is the eBay Plus program, which is really a loyalty program for our members. And so what this enables is that any anyone that's a member of eBay Plus uh, will be guaranteed free express shipping, uh, free returns uh, on the items that they purchase, and of course, access to, uh, to exclusive promotions as well, uh, along with a $5 coupon every month. So, you know, what, what we're really sort of trying to demonstrate here is that buyers in the market are looking for a certain retail standard when it comes to shipping online. And the eBay Plus program help, helps to enable that and provide those benefits to, uh, to buyers on the platform. And of course, you can see here examples this month that are running of exclusive eBay Plus promotions. So sort of massive 20% off uh, plus items, um, sort of super deals that come up each day. So great benefits there for our buyers. But in terms of what it means for sellers, there's a whole range of great benefits of you know, adhering to, I guess, the retail standards to enable you to be badged eBay Plus. And what we've seen for those sellers that are selling uh, through the eBay Plus mechanism is that there's an uplift in sales, 16% uh, uplift in sales because buyers know that they're going to get the item fast, free shipping, uh, and be able to return it if they need to. Uh, and, and, and obviously the reliable uh, tracking is a big component of that and being able to see, you know, where their item is at any particular time. We see that buyers of the plus uh, program are actually five times more likely to visit eBay and obviously spend six times more as well. So huge benefits there in terms of incremental visits and, uh, and buyers to your listings. Uh, you've got increased visibility as well through the eBay plus badging, which some of you have probably seen and this also enables uh, buyers to essentially search those items that are plus badge. So there is a, a filter uh, within the search result page, which allows buyers to look for items that are badged eBay plus. And that really just gives them surety that they're gonna get the item fast and it's free shipping as well. There's exclusive promotions obviously funded by eBay as well, which as a seller, you're automatically included in. Uh, and again, that helps create that velocity of sales. And, and all funded by eBay. But there's also extra protections, which are really interesting. And so, uh, you know, if there's a, a, um, a, a sort of false item not received uh, or item not described request, I should say, come back from a buyer, then we'll help you through that process uh, by contributing up to $9 of the return postage cost, if that is found to be a false claim. Uh, and also assist you with any negative or neutral feedback or any claims that come off the back of that. Also, certain returns 
uh, will provide support on as well. So if you get an item that's returned and it's been opened or the box is damaged or the items damaged itself, we'll also help support through that process, help mediate the case and also uh, um, sort of help support and remove uh, negative and neutral feedback there as well. And you as the seller in that circumstance can also keep up to 50% of the item price to manage that particular return and, and having that item come back, which, which may be open and, and not sellable again. So we think that's, you know, outside of the, the sales velocity and the incremental sales uplift and visibility you're getting, the extra protections there are another really good draw card for eBay Plus and, and for you to adopt, I guess, the retail standards that enable the eBay Plus badging. So the requirements for your listings to be included within the eBay Plus program, and it's, a, it's an automated uh, process if uh, your listings uh, meet this criteria, and that's offering free domestic postage, offering an express shipping option of a reasonable cost, uh, adhering to zero to one day handling times as well, because that helps enable that fast shipping experience for buyers. Uploading tracking is a really important part of the process. Uh, this helps the buyer see where an item is all the way through their purchase cycle, but it also minimizes the number of uh, customer service queries that you get as a seller about where is my item, how long is it gonna be until I receive my item. So super important to include tracking there as well. And of course, accepting 30 day returns is another criteria to be eligible for eBay Plus. Now, we know that offering, say, free shipping, express shipping, or even adhering to a zero to one day handling time might be difficult, difficult across all of your listings. Now, the best thing about eBay Plus is that we assess your listings at a listing level, not at a, at a seller or a business level. So you can have some of your listings uh, badged eBay Plus if you can adhere to these uh, retail standards and others that say you, you know you feel that you can't offer express shipping or can't meet the zero to one day handling times you can actually change that within the listing itself um, so that enables you to manage the business in the way that you want to and have the ability to gain the benefits of eBay Plus on the listings that you've uh, that, you, that you're eligible for and can actually um, meet the criteria for. So in terms of how it further works for you as a seller, so obviously in the previous slide, we've said need to offer a free shipping uh, option uh, and also express and an express option there. So what eBay will do is actually uh, fund up to $4 contribution of that express post upgrade. So what we're basically saying is that from, from a, uh, just a normal shipping cost through to Express Post, and as you can see in this example here, normal post uh, from Sydney to Melbourne is $8.95 for this particular weighted product. To offer Express, it's $11.95. So it's a $3 uh, increase. eBay will fund uh, up to $4 of that uh, increase to help you send that item by Express. And all you need to do is ensure that you do send that item by Express Post uh, the contribution from eBay will, will be applied automatically at a transaction level to your account for those items that you do send express post. Uh, and from a buyer perspective, uh, their actual item that they're purchasing will be upgraded to free express shipping without them needing to do anything. So it's a really great buyer experience because they're, they're seeing that they can get their item faster and, and free, free shipping. Uh, and for you, uh, as the seller, we will contribute up to $4 to help cover the cost of that upgrade. So moving on to the posters and shipping tools, which also help you with the eBay Plus program. Uh, so we'll start with the eBay postage label. So really great that you'll be able to manage all of this through Seller Hub uh, and essentially be able to uh, basically prepay for your postage uh, and actually print the labels all within the eBay experience. The best thing here is we've, we've got partnerships with Sendle and Australia Post and the uh, shipping uh, cost will basically, will select the, the shipping cost that's the, the cheapest based on those item locations in which the item's going to. Uh, and then it, it can all be done through the order section of, of eBay. Courier can pick it up at no extra cost from you. Uh, and the best thing is that as you uh, print those labels off, the tracking is automatically uploaded to eBay. So you're ticking that box in terms of giving the, the buyer the ability to track their item um, as, it, as, as they purchase it. Uh, and 
bulk, bulk label printing is available. So you can essentially select all of your uh, products sold in that particular day, uh, select shipping labels and print either on, you know, just a standard A4 printer or, or a label printer and away you go. So in order to use the postage labels, it's fairly simple. It's heading to the orders tab within Seller Hub like we've touched on, select one or more items, create postage labels, uh, print them off, package your items and either get the courier to pick them up or, or you um, take them yourself to the post office, for example. So really easy, all done within the orders tab in Seller Hub. New postage features coming later this year. So for sellers that are selling uh, more than 160 parcels over an eight week period, there's gonna be further discounted pricing. Uh, there'll be also the option to print labels from other e-commerce um, channels and providers such as Shopify and BigCommerce. So you can basically manage it all through your seller hub, whether you're selling across Shopify, BigCommerce or your eBay store. And soon with Sendal, we'll be opening up uh, international labels to over 200 countries across the world, all sort of paid for and, and printed throughout the eBay seller hub experience. So this gives you a great opportunity to ship internationally uh, and, and a lot easier uh, through these labels. So to wrap up, I, I think, you know, we've, we've gone through a lot today. We've spoken about the, the market sentiment that we've seen. We've spoken about Seller Hub and the marketing tools and obviously eBay Plus and, and uh, shipping and labels. But I think to leave you with four key areas of focus at the end of this webinar, I think it's leveraging Seller Hub to manage your business. So, you know, if you haven't already, jump into Seller Hub play around with the modules, see what works for your business and really explore the options that you've got to leverage each of those uh, modules for growth. Use TerraPeak research, as mentioned, great opportunity for you to optimize current products and listings that you have on your store, but also a really great opportunity for, for you to find those product gaps and, and uh, sourcing gaps that may be able to further accelerate your business on eBay. As Pat mentioned, you know, definitely leverage and tap into the promotional tools and promoted listings. These tools are really easy to use. We make them uh, very self-serve and, and, and super friendly to use. So you can jump in, set up a campaign, test and learn, but it's a really, really great way to increase that velocity. And as mentioned at the end, offer a great customer experience, leverage those learnings in terms of what uh, is important to buyers uh, adhere to those retail standards that are coming more, becoming more and more important to buyers these days and take advantage of the eBay Plus benefits I mentioned as well. And we think with these four key areas, by focusing on that, you can really expedite your growth on the eBay platform. So before we head into questions, I just wanted to leave you with a few um, points of information where you can stay in touch with eBay. Uh, you know, we, we're going to send a, a version of this webinar out via email. Uh, so you will get a copy of this um, along with an email address where you could submit further questions. So we'll, we'll go through some questions now, but if we don't get to them, there will be an opportunity to, uh, to send them through to us. Uh, but of course, a, a great way to stay connected to all the features and benefits of eBay is through the eBay for Business YouTube channel. Uh, and also Seller Center. So you know, we recommend jumping onto Seller Center, exploring some of those seller stories. The Seller Help um, Hub is there as well for you to ask specific detailed questions about your account as well. So, uh, so feel free to, to jump in there uh, anytime. But for now, Pat and I will jump into some Q&A and I think Sanjana and, and Rachel probably answered some. But we will uh, we'll jump in now and see what we can answer live for you. And as, as we said, look, if we don't get to some or, we, or we've missed you, uh, there will be an opportunity to send them through to us at a later stage. All right. So bear with me while we go through. Quite a lot of questions. Thanks, everyone, for, for submitting. This is fantastic. Okay, so... Got a question here from Dipali, which is, I'm a seller who wants to sell on eBay from India. Will you please share with me any documentation I need to have? So um, Dipali, all of that information will be on the seller center uh, in terms of how you can sell. Uh, I think you're looking to sell 
on eBay Australia from India. Um, all of that information will be contained in the follow-up email that we send, but also just jump onto Seller Center to see how you can set up your business um, on the platform. All right, let's move on to the next one. So there's a question here from Summer, any option for international shipping? Uh, yes, absolutely. As we've shared uh, just then, we later this year obviously we'll have Sandal uh, offering their international labels um, within the Seller Hub itself um, to 200 different countries. So, you, you know, there's, there's the option there, um, but obviously there's other postage services out there that do offer international shipping. Uh, the beauty of being on a global marketplace like eBay is that you can actually sell within Australia, but uh, easily send globally as well if you want to do that. And uh, all the tools are, are there available for you. And we've got some great information on the seller center about shipping and, and best practice there as well. I, mean, I can see okay. on uh, promoted listings. Uh, Jackie asks, can I do promoted listings when I'm a brand new shop and seller on eBay? Uh, the answer to that is not straight away. Uh, you need to sort of have a, a little bit of time to generate a, a history of sales. And uh, we do that just to make sure that uh, we've got the best quality of listings in promoted listings. But also, uh, I really think that the tool is, is best suited after you've had a bit of time to find your footing and uh, really optimize those listings with, um, you know, the, the item specifics and, uh, and titles and pictures and uh, you know, things like eBay Plus, like Jeremy mentions. I think promoted listings is good after you've had a bit of an opportunity to ground yourself. So you can't use it straight away, uh, but not too soon after you um, join up and have some sales. Great, thanks, Pat. Another one's come through from uh, Farward, which is an eBay Plus question. So what do you mean by express shipping option? Does it mean that we provide the option, but we can charge extra or we have to provide free express shipping? So it's, uh, it's free express shipping uh, that you must provide and then we'll, we'll help cover the, uh, uh, the upgrade uh, cost of offering that express shipping. Um, so head to the eBay Plus section on Seller Center and it goes into a, a lot more detail there as well um, in terms of all the different benefits and features and how you can be eligible. Um, but that's, uh, that's how you can offer the express shipping option there. Another question around how can I be an eBay Plus seller? So, you know, as I went through those criteria around offering, you know, free shipping, free, you know, free express, uh, free returns, uh, and, and a few other um, sort of maintaining top rated seller status as well as an important one, and we'll automatically select your listings to be plus, uh, plus badged. All right. So there's quite a few I can see coming through about eBay Plus. Uh, and so what I'd recommend is that uh, you definitely head to the, to the eBay Plus seller section in the seller center, uh, because there's a wealth of information there that will that'll really be able to take you through all the features and benefits and also the criteria. Okay. All right, so just bear with me guys as we go through some of these questions. Yeah, so I'm seeing that there's, there's a lot which is great around the eBay Plus program uh, and the best way to get the badging um, so I think we've covered that off and there'll be, as I said, definitely more information in the seller center there. Uh, so I've got one here from Mohasina, which is, is for Terapeak, do you need a subscription and what are the fees? So if you're a store subscriber, it's included free within your store subscription. Uh, if you don't have a store subscription, the fees are $12 a month if you if you purchase over 12 months or $19 a month uh, if you buy the subscription ad hoc.
Okay, there's one here from Colin uh, it's saying, I'm about to, oh, I've just lost it now, sorry, Colin. Basically saying I'm about to start my business on eBay and is there a way, yeah, is there another new seller webinar up and coming? So we've actually, Colin, we've actually recorded that new seller webinar and it's on the eBay for Business YouTube channel. Um, so I definitely recommend heading there. We've got the new seller webinar, but also on the seller center, we've got a new seller, new eBay seller guide as well, which takes you sort of step by step through everything you, you need to do to set yourself up on the platform. But the webinar itself, the recording should be able to cover that for you. Uh, Jan's come through with a question for the promotion in eBay plus like the 20% off, will the seller absorb the cost or will eBay fund it? So just to clarify, if you're part of the eBay plus program as a seller, um, eBay will fund those promotions uh, in, in its entirety for you. So that's one of the benefits you get as a seller, um, you know, having your, your listings plus badged. Uh, okay, I've got a question here from Harshal, which is, can someone explain some more details about my invoice? So Harshal, the best way uh, to, to get that answered is to go to the seller center and the seller help um, chat functionality, share with the uh, customer service representative your eBay user ID, and they'll be able to jump in and help you uh, with that particular question. Pat, I'm not sure whether we read this one out. I think it's just come through. It's with promoter listings. If we go above the trending price, do we have a better chance to rank higher, much like Google Ads AdWords? Did you want to? Did you want to take that one? Yeah, sure. Uh, so the answer is yes. Uh, the trending ad rate is just an indication of what we think is trending in that category. Um, it's not to say that you won't see added benefit by going above that, or that you'll see no benefit if you go below it. Uh, it's really a, a guideline, I would say, and it, it definitely would pay to experiment with, with going above and below potentially and, and sort of testing and learning and seeing how you go. But yeah, absolutely, if, if you increase the ad rate, you should see uh, some correlation in, in benefit. Great, there's another one here that's come through as well from Maybell, which is what is the organic impression? What does organic impression mean in promoted listings? Yeah, great question. So this is uh, new, a new thing that we're talking about with the new dashboard. So an organic impression uh, on the dashboard is if you've got, uh, let's say you've got 10 items in promoted listings. So, and then you've got, you know, however many outside of promoted listings. What we're talking about is for those 10 items, how often do they appear not as an ad versus how often do they appear as an ad? So each of those is an impression and we're playing them off against each other so that you can see, uh, you know, when they're surfacing under what circumstances. Perfect. At, at the moment, we don't have that yet for clicks, uh, but we're, we're, that will be uh, in an in a update coming soon. Great. Thanks, Pat. And just to clarify, and, uh, and, and Rachel's pointed this out to me because I, I, I did make a mistake in terms of the eBay Plus component. So you have to offer free standard shipping, but not free express. You just have to offer an express option um, and eBay will cover the upgrade. So apologies if I, if I confuse people with that explanation, but only offer free uh, standard shipping and just an express option. Thanks, uh, thanks Rach for clarifying that. All right, so Pat, I think we've gone through um, quite a few questions, I'm, I'm mindful of the time. So we might wrap that up. I apologize if we didn't get to your question, uh, but as I said, there is obviously a, a wealth of information on the uh, eBay for Business YouTube channel, the Seller Center, and if you really get stuck and you need some really detailed help on your account, uh, I'd recommend going to the Seller Help section uh, on uh, the Seller Center and, and getting uh, one of our customer service reps to, to assist. Um, I just wanna say on behalf of Pat, myself, Rachel and Sajana, a huge thanks for taking time out and joining us today um, and asking a whole bunch of really, really great questions. We hope you got a lot out of it. As I said, we will send this as a, as a follow-up um, and it will be available on the YouTube channel if you wanna go back through it later. Uh, and then also uh, at the end of this webinar, uh, stick around because there will be a survey that comes up and we'd love to hear from you in terms of 
what you'd like to see in future webinars from us here at eBay. Um, so definitely input into that and we'll make sure we, we tailor the webinars um, accordingly. But I just want to say a huge thanks and, and thank you again for choosing eBay uh, for your business. We, we really appreciate it. Uh, so enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you.